Today, I'd like to talk about if a Bouvier can be a livestock guardian dog. The short answer is no. When I was doing my research, I think I read somewhere that a Bouvier can be a livestock guardian dog. And, you know, I really like Bouviers and I just, I really wanted one. So I went ahead and I um, got a dog from the American Bouvier Rescue League. Uh, Lizzie was seven years old. Honestly, I don't know why I thought I could adopt a seven-year-old dog and somehow she'd become a livestock guardian dog. <laughs> Looking back, oh, I see red flags everywhere, but that's okay because I'm experienced now. And at the time that I did this, I was a complete newbie. I luckily hired a dog trainer for me, which was beautiful because short term, I mean, spoiler alert, mm, this is not going to work out as a livestock guardian dog. Okay, really not. But the dog trainer that I hired for me did work out in that she taught me a lot about leadership and the pack. And while obedience is something easy for me to understand, you know, can will your dog sit, lay down, roll over, give a paw, wait at the door, you know, that kind of thing. Um, that's easy to understand. What was harder for me to understand was leadership, which she taught me about, and that's why I have a pack of dogs and we're all fine. If it weren't for her, I don't think I would have gotten this idea about leadership. But I just know that Lizzie, when she came to us, she had lived in a city and she didn't really know anything about country living, okay? You know, birds flying overhead uh, freaked her out. But like I said, she did teach us a lot. And I'm very, you know, grateful because, um, through her, I learned what happens if you don't properly socialize your dog. I also learned, ooh, what happens when you ask a dog to do a job that they can't really do? Because I think she was asked to be a guard dog, and I think she didn't really have it in her to be a guard dog, so it caused a lot of anxiety. So she had a lot of separation anxiety and just generalized anxiety, and... She also would lunge at people. Uh, I think she had some PTSD. The people that she lunged at were people that were um, alcoholics who were emitting alcohol through their pores, you know, that kind of smell that they have. Yeah, you couldn't, anyone like that, you'd have to keep her away from. Um, so yeah, she had some interesting triggers. I did my best with my trainer. And then at some point I realized, you know, this rehabilitation stuff, like why bother? Like we, you know, we ended up having a really nice, you know, life together. So I just kept her managed. I just kept her away from stressful situations and um, just enjoyed the time we had together. And let me tell you, the American Bouvier Rescue League, you know, they really let me know all the problems too. They, you know, when I adopted this dog, it was eyes wide open. I don't know. I had some idea I could rehabilitate her and, you know, actually dogs can't talk. You can't do therapy with them. You can't be like, oh, PTSD, let me help you with this. Let's talk. You know, you can't do that. So that's just how it is. And in addition to all of this, Lizzie was a herding dog. So no, she couldn't be a livestock guardian dog. So I hope this helps and happy homesteading.